Again, the count is full. Stand up one to nothing with the bases loaded here in the bottom of the second. Runners go again. Citro swings. It's a ground ball. A nice play by Taralbo. Who throws to first and gets him. And one out for the visiting Golden Griffins of Canisius. Hartman from the stretch. That one a curveball low. Corano fires to first. That one goes well over Cardona's head. And Coppinger advances to second. The ball's still going around the infield. It'll be Gwyn who picks it up. He throws the first to Hartman, and they got him. Here's the 1-1. Cardona lays down a bunt, goes right back to the mound. Courtright tries to throw to third. His throw well off the mark. Baldoni will score. Gwyn advances to third. Cardona advances to second. The third error of the day for the Golden Griffins results in Siena's second run. Burton flew out to right in the first, grounded out to third in the fourth. The 1-0 is swung on and taken to left center field. Back goes Bell. He's at the track. He's at the wall. He will not get it. It's gone. So Brian Burton with a solo home run brings Canisius closer. Siena still leads it, though, a score of 4-2. to two. Won the count to the lefty. Lintzman delivers. That one swung on. Grounded through the infield. Base hit. One run is in. Cardona being waved home. Hill scores standing up. A two-run single for Tyler Bell. And the Saints now lead it 6-2. to two. Bobloski from the stretch, looks back at second, and delivers. That pitch is swung on. It's a grounder to Paolini. Paolini up with it, throws to first, and the ball game is over. Siena has defeated Canisius 6-2. to two. They've taken two of three from the Golden Griffins, and Zach Hartman has won his fourth straight decision.